I'm getting locked in this negative 20 degree freezer with a heat pump, and if I don't complete four challenges in 30 minutes, my boss gets to shave my mustache. I'm not allowed to be in here alone, so I've got my cameraman wearing a jacket and a fish costume. Don't worry though, we have got paramedics outside. About five minutes, hypothermia will start setting, it'll start to feel very cold, start to shiver, and after about 15, 20 minutes, his heart rate will start to slow down, he might get a bit confused. Um, and after that, potentially, he could die. The coldest I've ever been is about minus three. I'm so cold! This is gonna suck for him. Okay, before we go any further, you kind of need to know what a heat pump is and why I'm doing these challenges. So, this is TJ, the heat pump guy. He'll explain, but please forgive me. He is American. Roll the clip. Hi, I'm TJ, and I'm the head of our heat pump program here at Octopus Energy. What I have with me here is our Octopus Cozy 6 heat pump. It works a lot like an air conditioner, except instead of taking heat out of the home, it puts it in. And the best part is, they're crazy efficient. For every one unit of energy you put in, you get four units of heat out. And you control it all from your phone, so it's super easy to use. I just wanted to lock Xander in the freezer. Hey, voiceover Xander again. Now you've heard from TJ, here's why we use the freezer. We're testing how our cozy heat pump works in extreme conditions. So your cozy sits outside your house and then uses some science magic to steal heat from the cold air and then uses it to heat your radiators and hot water. So the cozy in the chamber with me is using negative 20 degree air to heat water to 45 degrees and pumping that water outside the chamber. It's not trying to heat up the freezer. Do I need to risk my life in the freezer to test this? No, but you wouldn't watch that, you sicko. You're here to see me suffer. And believe me, I will suffer. Oh, that's freezing. Can you hear me, Xander? Well, you might have noticed there's a whole lot of shirts on the table behind you. Your first challenge is to put all of those on. Every last one of them. So you already know why we use the freezer, but we've still got a bit of time before I become the most clothed man in all of Britain. So I'm gonna show you where I am. Uh, stop the orchestra. Stop. Stop it. Thanks. This is the 10 million pound Octopus Energy heat pump research and development facility. It's where we test our cozy heat pumps in massive freezers to make sure they work when it gets really cold outside. So cold it makes you say, ah, I'm really cold. Heat pumps are actually really popular in Scandinavia, so they're used to the cold, but we test them anyway. Also, we've got a silent room to make sure they're really quiet and test them on full-size houses because, you know, that's what they're for. Uh, did I buy enough time? How are you feeling, It's so cold in here, man. This was going to suck. Yeah, that looks really great. So you'll notice that the cozy heat pump in there with you is running. Your next challenge is to use the app controls and set a home heating temperature to 20 degrees with a little bit of a schedule boost. So TJ called this a challenge, and that's kind of a lie because it was really easy. Uh, you only have to set your schedule once, and you can change the temperature in your home at any time with one button. I'll get nice and warm at night, TJ. I'm going 25, baby, yeah. Is that it? Oh, it's literally done. I thought that was going to take longer. Well, lucky for you, we've made the controls about as simple as can be, so this isn't the dark ages anymore. What's next, big boy? I don't know if this is good news or bad news, but you've got about 15 minutes left in there. So your next challenge is to do 10 keepy-uppies with the Rosie the Cozy plushies. I suck at football, TJ! Oh, okay. Yeah, I had a feeling he wasn't any good at football. That's why I made the challenge. We need the football before the football leaves you. I don't think being warmer would make him any better at it. Murphy 101, Jacob Murphy to win it! Oh, 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 I got six. He made it all the way to six. It's going to be a while. Why don't we go look at the heat pump data? All right, we need to we need to show the uh, the performance of the heat pump in the right hand chamber. The really cold one. Yeah. Oh, and that's a bad mess. We're busy looking at the heat pump right now, which uh, you'll be glad to know is putting out 45 degree water, uh, using about three kilowatts uh, of electricity. So uh, nice and efficient, even at uh, minus 20 in the chamber. Doesn't do much for you, but I'm very happy with what I'm seeing here. It can't go on like this, can it? It can. He never had the makings of a varsity athlete. That's a Sopranos reference. The Gabagool. Kid should watch it. Thirsty Harry. Here's Hulk. Yeah. Oh, TJ, TJ, 
show you that. I think one of the best things about the Cozy is that the technology is always improving with the ability to send over the air updates to the Cozy heat pumps. Come on, what, where are you? To make it perform better, to add new features over time. So when you own a Cozy, your heat pump improves. It's not just stuck at the point in time in which you bought it. All right, 10 kickoffs. Where are you, TJ? TJ. Oh, sorry, uh, coffee break. Coffee break? Oh, far out. Good job in the tank, keep you up, East. Took you longer than I thought. For your next challenge, I'm going to ask you a series of questions about our cozy heat pumps. You have to get 10 right in order to get out. I have faith in you. No. For every two questions you get wrong, you have to eat one of those sour candies. The good news is they're really cold, so they will be even less palatable than usual for you. Okay, so the first one's easy. Compared to a gas boiler, how many emissions does a heat pump release? A heat pump doesn't release any emissions when it's going. It uses electricity. That is correct. No emissions at the point of operation. How long does it take to install a cozy heat pump? A few days, maybe? Like, like three days? Three to four days is the average install time and a half a day for the survey. Speaking of installations, Name three things that included the installation. Uh, you do a heat pump, uh, number one. Maybe some like wires, and uh, is there like a bit of conflict that the heat pump sits on? That is, all, that is all correct, I will give you that. Yes, it includes the wires. I am so smart, TJ. You're never gonna catch me out. Okay. Here's your plan. Like okay. How many cozy sixes does it take to equal the weight of an elephant? <laughs> Maybe like 30? Is that your final answer? Uh, that makes me sound like it's wrong. I, I, maybe 40. My final answer is 40. 65. 65? Okay. Well, I guess I've still got one life before I have to eat this thing. You're halfway to the suffering. It's negative 20 in here, TJ. I'm already suffering. How many cheeseburgers equals the weight of the same elephant? That doesn't even have anything to do with heat pump, TJ. Then, in that case, how many cheeseburgers equals the weight of one cozy? Uh, let's say 250 cheeseburgers. Do, do you know how big a cheeseburger is? Uh, I, uh, no. It would actually be 560. This sucks. Oh my god! <laughs> I feel that like mustache is like becoming a solid object. Well, we can also make that mustache go away because I'm telling you, nobody's a fan. I have one like from a DJ. Everyone loves this mustache. I love it. As someone who's had a mustache, let me tell you. No, they don't. <laughs> What's the next question? Uh, this, this is an easy one. Can you get a heat pump from Octopus on finance? Yes. Uh, how many times more efficient than a gas boiler is a heat pump? Four times more efficient. That is correct. You would expect your heat pump in the worst conditions to be twice as efficient as gas boilers. Gas boilers suck, TJ. Agreed. Here's another one for you. How do you say heat pump in German? The language of love. I don't think so. Uh, heat and pump. Uh, you are so close. That is incorrect. So I think that makes your second sour candy. Okay, TJ. Thanks, dude. I still had another life left before I had to eat another stupid sour candy. That's not very nice. <laughs> Do you need to replace radiators in your home when you install a cozy heat pump? No, you don't. You don't need to replace it. You're gonna keep the same one. Are you sure? No. The answer, like many things in life, is it depends. Depends how big your current radiators are. And whether you get a turbo install for a high temperature system or our eco install for a lower temperature system. I'm giving it to myself. Make up a limerick about a heat pump. Uh, there was a heat pump in a chamber and inside we trapped a Xander. Uh, he was really cold, and that's true, I am told. But the heat pump worked all the same really well. I'm halfway tempted to contact Ofsted about your school, but I'm going to give you credit for that one, even though the last line didn't really work. We're nearly there. Oh, oh, Freezing. How many customers have registered interest in a heat pump? 
100,000 people. 100,000 people want heat bugs. Everyone just want heat bugs. At this point in the video, it was so cold that my hands literally stopped working and I couldn't press the buttons properly. While my body literally fails, the heat pump is working great. 100,000 people have asked throughout them. It's over 100,000, but we'll give you credit for 100,000. Okay, this one should be pretty easy for you. Why should someone get a heat pump from Octopus? Heat pumps are really good. Yeah, I'll, I'll go with they're really good. How tall is a Cozy 6 heat pump? One and a half meters. Put another one in your mouth. Uh, cool. Next okay, last one. Name eight good things about a heat pump. They're pretty quiet. They uh, work really well with heat pump temperatures. They have a little heat sticker on the front. They keep your house at a constant temperature. They're environmentally friendly. They keep updated, so they keep getting better over time. You can draw them the app on your phone. You feel like you're part of the future. I'm gonna say that that's eight. <laughs> You know, I'm gonna be honest, I kinda stopped counting. The heat pump did a lot better than you did. It's doing great. Didn't break a sweat the whole time. Still putting out 45 degree water, even though it's minus 20 in there. I think we're just gonna have to let you out. If you were to die, that would be a lot of paperwork. And, and oh. just, just for proof, no cuts. No jump shots. Minus 20. My coffee's a little cold now. 26 minutes in there. My fingertips are burning. Yes, yeah, my mine. Freedom! <laughs> Negative 20 degrees is pretty cold. I'm not planning on doing that ever again. The paramedics are set up fine. You're almost free. Even though my body failed, the heat pump worked perfectly in negative 20 degrees, and after nearly dying for the cause, I was expecting some support from TJ. TJ had different ideas. I mean, if we had lost you, we just would have replaced you with AI. At least I don't have to shave my mustache. It's the way of the future. No one forced me to do this. <laughs> what do you think? Can we post it? How dangerous was it? Oh, it was fine. Oh, we were in control the whole time, and we had paramedics there. We were all right. Were you draining the NHS of resources? No, 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 we hired them specifically for this. Whose idea was it? It was mine. It was totally my idea. I, I love stuff like this. So it was your idea? Yeah. You weren't really in danger? No. And you didn't drain the NHS of resources? No, of course not. And uh, did the heat pump work? Oh, it was fine. Yeah, worked really well. Can we do it? All right.